Hey, my cell phone did not explode yet, so I'm still alive. But seriously, people, you need to be careful. There is no way back after what happened in Lebanon in the previous two days. Israel now is intentionally, shamelessly, without any fear of any kind of responsibility in front of the whole world, exploiting the technology that all of your lives relay on to track, to attack, to explode or to kill you whenever they want and wherever you are, no matter you are in a school, in a hospital, in a kindergarten, in your home with your children, with your family, no matter, in the market, in a crowded place, in transportation, no matter. All what they need is to manufacture some products, putting the explosive materials in, and then to sell these products in your country. And voila, with a press on the button, mass killing of thousands of people. And this is not, this is not a joke. This is not a science fiction. This is not the, the World War Three. This is what Israel has done in Lebanon for thousands of people for two days in a row. At the beginning, blowing up beggars, then in the second day, blowing up laptops, cell phones, TV screens, touching screens, um, car radios, and much more machines. Killing more than 15 people. A lot of people lost their eyes, their ears, their hands, some parts of their bodies because of the, the explosions. Can you imagine that you are uh, working in the medical field, working on any other field that you prefer to hold a walkie-talkie or a beggar on your hand for communication, and then it's exploded and you lose your both eyes and your ear because Israel is allowed to mass kill people and no one until now, no government, no country until now condemned what Israel has done in Lebanon. Starting a war, killing people. Israel until now is not holding any accountability. No one boycott Israel until now in the technology field, in the economic field. No one. If that happened, if if blowing up about 4,000 people's cell phones and walkie-talkies and laptops, if that happened in any other city like New York or any other place, it will be a terror attack that might be worse than the 11th of September. After that, the world will take care about the technology, manufacturing, about everything. But because it's happening for Arabs and by Israel, no one is talking about it enough. They're talking about it like, like something normal happened in a war, something, something legitimate. But governments are not moving toward holding Israel accountable for this.